a lot of people feel there is a war on the motorist. Um, but when it comes to 20 mile per hour zones, the argument is it's about saving lives. So why are you arguing against them? Yeah, well, the argument about saving lives and we're doing it for your good has been a consistent argument uh, where we've seen all sorts of blunt tools and impositions and restrictions uh, unaccountable democratically. Nobody's asked for this. Nobody's voted for it. The low traffic neighbourhoods you mentioned were brought in under emergency traffic orders, actually also funded by the government initially, but they've stepped away from that and the Prime Minister's doing a review on them because everyone's campaigning. Thank you to viewers that have as well uh, with Together and others. Uh, but this 20 mile per hour is part of a broader backdrop, which is really underpinned by net zero, the blunt tool that says we're going to have limits, restrictions, suffocations. We're not going to have dynamic transformation. We're not going to improve transportation. What we're going to do is we're going to say, get out of your car, yeah. um, walk and cycle. As David Lammy said, get on the train if you're a worker with your tools. Uh, and the whole idea is a contempt for the public, for working people for people with families uh guys under we're saving lives we're looking after your health yeah. it's anti-scientific it's anti-democratic and frankly julia these are the new demarcation lines between people who want their independence and freedom and autonomy mm -hmm. and those bureaucrats that are now so far wide and with a chasm with the public yeah. and that's why we say you know we want the public front and center and uh, to free our streets together